Would you like a strategy with an equity curve that looks like this? And would you believe it if I tell you that this strategy is based on a single line of code with zero optimization? Let me start from the beginning. I am a big believer that each market has its own characteristics. And in this, I differ with many of my peers and even some of my mentors. But I do this for a reason, because... You see, most strategies that came from hedge funds, usually they tend to be long term because hedge funds move a lot of capital in and out and they need long term strategy. And very short term strategies are restricted to high frequency trading firms, which we cannot compete in. So we sit in a very short term trading strategies that trades like hours to a few days. And in this short term, the market characteristics is totally different between each market and you cannot force a strategy that works very good on market x and you expect it to work very good on market y so from that perspective i totally believe that you should develop long side alone short side alone for each market separately and one of the first tools that i use in my research is day of week now this is not new larry williams uh, made this very popular in his book 20 years ago but this concept is still very important till today. And that alone is worth the price of admission, as they say. I have in this chart natural gas futures. And each bar is a monthly bar. And you can see we've been drifting down since the peak in 2005. Now, we had a huge bull run here. This is 2007 until the crash in 2008 a small bull run remember these are months in 2014 and we did so again in 2021 and we did a huge run in 2022 but mostly we are drifting down so of course this market has a tendency to go down and you need to apply short-term strategies to make the best of the natural gas market so just like i advise always to go long on the s p 500 because it usually tends to drift up even when it has uh, big drawdowns the same goes for natural gas it tends to drift down of course it will have some uh, bull moves but overall you will make more money with high wind rate by shorting the natural gas so here is the daily bar of natural gas since 2005 and i am shorting every day and exiting end of day and you can see that strategy performs really really well with almost four hundred thousand dollars in winnings eight to one win to drawdown ratio and if we look at the analysis of the trades we have about forty four hundred trades an average of $88 that's not big and almost 52% win rate so if we try to isolate which days works better let's do an optimization here I have four variables let's leave the last two for later let's focus on the first two so end of day close this we will optimize between zero and one so zero it's exit end of day one is exit next day that means we are holding overnight and day of week is zero that means all day so we have some reference to compare to and then of course days of the week one to five which is monday through friday so 12 combinations in total and this is what we have so if we pick all days exiting end of day so this is zero zero this is what we have three hundred ninety three thousand forty four hundred trades eighty eight dollars average per trade and 7.8 return to drawdown ratio and the next best one is this one and we make less money by holding overnight so this one is 400,000 this one is almost 300,000 first of all we know that holding overnight uh, we we don't get any advantage in fact if anything we're getting a disadvantage because we're holding more risk overnight but if we look at the days, so this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we can immediately notice that three, which is Wednesday, that means we are buying Thursdays and exiting end of day. Because if this is Wednesday, then we will buy the next day, which is Thursday. And look at this. The average trade is 260. And if we hold overnight, so this is the next one, 
the average trade is 242. Now, this is not a fluke, and it's not by chance that Thursdays is the best day to short natural gas. There must be a fundamental reason. Now, I don't know this, but if we check all the trades, we will see that this is not a fluke, like it happened since 2005. Uh, we had the crash in 2008 and 2014 and COVID and uh, high interest rate, low interest rate. And so we can see that this is not a fluke. There is something fundamental in this market that makes it better suited to short it on Thursday. And also we will notice that shorting Fridays is the next best thing because this is Thursday. That means we are shorting Fridays. So if we short Friday and exit end of day, the average trade is 105. And if we short Friday exit next day, that means we're holding over the weekend, our average trade is even better at 137. So 137, that's almost 30% more. So that's definitely worth it. And of course, we can see that in the profit. So this is 123,000. And this is 94,000. So let me double click. We will pick that. And now we are shorting every Thursday, exiting end of date. And this is what it looks like. Performance, 239, 12 to 1, uh, return to drawdown ratio, trade analysis. Uh, we have $260 average trade. That's very good. And if we look at the curve, it's uh, beautiful. And look at the drawdown. We can barely see it, of course, we should see it clearly. It's about $20,000. This is in 21. But now to check if this is a fluke or not, let's look at the periodical analysis and let's look at the annual period. So since 2005, we have only two years down and they are not that big. I mean, look at this, 2,500 and this is a scratch. This could easily be up. But one number will jump, which is 2008. Because you can see all the trades are around 50. But we can see the maximum here is 22 and the average is about 10. But then 2008 is 54 and 2006 is 41. So if 2008, let's say it's an outlier. Yes, because we can see even the average trade is $1,000. Well, uh, well, everywhere it's about $200. We need to make sure that this high number here does not skew our average trade in total. So let me get rid of 2008 and I will even get rid of 2006. Okay, so I put the filter for two years and let's compile. And you can see now 2008 and 6, they are gone. And first, let's check the... Uh, average trade so our average trade went to down to 181 that's still very good so we know that is not a fluke and we can check the curve is even looks better to me now because i think it's a lot smoother before we had a huge jump in 2008 and 2006 here. and now you can see this flat curve this is 2006 and 2008 and total performance, we are making 147,000, 7 to 1 return to drawdown ratio. Now, like all strategies, they consist of entry, exit, and a filter. And the best filters are usually direction and volatility. And in my Algo Trading Masterclass, I have my own proprietary direction filter and volatility filter. So let's add those to the strategy and let's see if we can enhance this extremely simple strategy and make it better so first indicator here i have the market direction which consists of bull bear and sideways and the second indicator here is market volatility which is quiet normal and volatile so each one has three stages so let's switch off this and let's optimize for volatility so from zero to three so zero that means we're not using it that will be the reference point and three, which is the number of uh, regimes and the volatility. Anyway, so this is our reference point and let's look at our average trade. So our average trade was 181 and look at this 319. It's 138 trades compared to 816. 
that's already a lot of savings we are out of the market but our average is almost double and our drawdown is less than half so it's like it's a huge improvement by simply adding volatility and this volatility is in the middle that means it's the normal volatility it's not quiet and it's not extreme it's just the normal volatility of this market now, I might say this is low. Now we're re reducing our profits, but that can easily be mitigated by trading more contracts in this. If I want to bring my drawdown to 19, I can easily uh, make two and a half uh, my drawdown. So that means I can trade two and a half contracts. Also, you can trade this one. So this is 262. So you can trade both these and skip this market regime so both these will give you 450 trades and it will give you 127,000 with lower drawdown so still significantly better than the normal one and now let's try the other filter which is direction so if we go to direction again zero is the reference point and one to three is bull sideways and bear market so this is our original and again here we see a significant improvement look at this uh, so this is the bull market and remember the natural gas has a tendency to go down and it has short bull movements and in those movements when it's going up you short on thursdays and you get uh, double the average trade and again, you reduce your drawdown. And if you want to combine it with the other one, this is 179, the average trade. So almost like the original. And that will be the bear market. So the sideways, the sideways market is the worst one in natural. And of course, uh, you can see this by double click. You can see that uh, so this is direction and in bull market. So this is the bull market. We trade only these times. We go further again but market we trade here we don't trade so you can see we are out of the market a long time we're only trading at bull market now of course you can combine these strategies together and they are not 100 percent correlated so here for example i put a natural gas and this one we're still shorting thursdays only uh, but this one using direction and this one using volatility as a filter. And if we back test them both, you can see now we are making a 123,000 instead of the 140. And our average trade now jumps to 277. So that's very good. And our periodical analysis still looks very good. Remember, I still removed 2006 and 8. And if I put them back on, they will be much better. But let's keep them off for now because I just want to show you the correlation. So if we take the daily correlation, you can see they are 0.56 correlate. So that is like somewhere in the middle, but it's not like 90% correlate. So even though it's the same strategy shorting on Thursday, but the volatility filter does not always overlap with the direction filter. And that's what makes these two indicators really really work well together and just to show you if i remove the filters for 2008 2006 we will get a much better strategy so still the correlation is 0.56 but now of course we're making more money and this is our curve we're still making about two hundred thousand dollars with a maximum drawdown of about twenty thousand dollars that happens lately so simple research tools yield beautiful strategies if you know the workflow and know what to do to learn more watch this video and i will see you there